Welcome back. Like we mentioned earlier, we were seeing rainy conditions for the majority of this weekend, and unfortunately, that pattern is not quite over yet. Here's a look at radar currently around our area. We can see the majority of southern Minnesota is seeing dry conditions this evening, but as we move further south to our friends in Iowa, we are starting to see some more active weather moving throughout that region and some severe thunderstorm warnings issued as well. Timing out the next couple of hours for us, it's possible we could see a couple of pop-up showers during the overnight, as well as some of our counties closer to that Iowa border or in northern Iowa. You could be seeing some more organized weather as we go into the early morning hours tomorrow. It is important to note we could see some strong or severe storms with that, so you'll definitely want to have a way to receive warnings this evening and definitely remain weather aware. As we go into Monday, Clear conditions in the morning, we should see some sunshine for the majority of our region, but later in the day, we could see a couple of pop-up showers here and there. Nothing major, but it is possible to see some rain here and there. That's going to continue throughout the overnight tomorrow night into Tuesday, starting off dry Tuesday morning, but later on in the day again, we're going to see some more organized and widespread rain making its way through later on in the afternoon. Looking at Rain chances for the rest of this week, we can see every day we do have some kind of rain chance. Now we could see this in the form of pop-up showers here and there. Throughout the week, we're not expecting anything major, no major severe weather events. However, it is possible that a storm or two could be strong. We could see some gusty wind. And as always, lightning is always dangerous, so you won't want to be outside if you see any lightning or hear any thunder. Looking at temperatures today, we had a high of 70 degrees in Mankato, a low of 53 this morning. 70 degrees was the high as well in St. James and New Ulm, 72 in Wyndham, and 76 in Slayton and Worthington. Currently, though, temperatures are falling into the 50s, 57 degrees currently in Waseca, 55 in Owatonna, and 59 degrees in Albert Lee. Temperatures this week are going to remain in the 70s for our highs. On Wednesday, we could see temperatures close to 80 degrees. It is possible for a couple of us to actually hit 80 degrees that day. We're going to see those warm temperatures continue through next weekend. Tonight, a low of 54 degrees in Mankato. A few showers possible, especially as we move further south towards that Iowa-Minnesota border with that wind pretty light from the northeast. That wind's going to continue tomorrow, a high of 71 degrees for Mankato. We could see some dense fog tomorrow morning, so you definitely want to leave a couple of extra minutes for your morning commute and be sure to use extra caution if you encounter any of that dense fog. A couple showers are possible tomorrow evening as well, like we saw on that future cast just a second ago. Our extended forecast is showing rainy week ahead. We will see some sunshine, though, as we approach next week, so we will definitely have that to look forward to after this very rainy week. That's all I have for weather. Sports will be up next after the break. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Bongars. What you need, when you need it.